Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the character creator for 3D Avatar into Icon 7 as a, a backward compatibility pipeline tutorial. The character creator 4 is the newer version of the software and the Icon 7 is the older version of the software and so I'm going to show you how to how to do how to perform the backward compatibility pipeline. You are going to import it. First, I'm going to open the character creator for the CC4. This is a CC4. I will go to here under the actor under the actor here. Just go and choose an avatar. I'm going to choose the cloth avatar. The CC4 Camilla. The CC4 Camilla. I double click to open this avatar. And now we are going to wait for a while. It is opening. All right. Once the avatar already loads, you have to appoint. You have to assign the tipos. You have to go to here the animation. Under the animations, you just need to go and find the pose. Under the pose calibrations, the tipos. Drag and drop the tipos into the avatar. All right. Next, we are going to export it as SPX. Click here, File, Export, FBX with the cloth, uh, cloth character. The target to preset, choose Maya. Then, Smash and Motion and date the texture. Choose Current Pose because you already applied the T-Pose. That is very important. The T-Pose, Current Pose, click Export. You are going to export it. And as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop and I will name this avatar as Camilla, same as the original name. Click save. Now it is exporting exporting the FBX. Wait. This is the FBX key together with the FBX file. Done. The FBX file is ready. And next, we are going to import import this avatar into icon 7 but before that in order to make it automatic convert to become a non-standard human avatar you need to open the icon 3d exchange 7 this is another software and i op open the revolution hub to open the icon 3d exchange 7 all right once you already open the icon 3d exchange 7 Drag in the FBX file and wait for a while until it is importing. It is imported in. Wait. Right here, you click OK to import the FBX. OK, at this point, it is automatic detected that this is a CC3 avatar. Then click Yes. It is automatic converting it as a CC3 avatar. But once you make it become an avatar, it is going to make it become non-standard character. So now everything ready. What you need to do is just scroll down. Click convert to non-standard and have a check. Check on all the bones. Alright, it is ready. So cancel here. Yes. And then check the facial expression editor. The expression editor is at here. We are going to make sure everything completed. First, you check the eyes. The eyes not yet complete. The bone size, I may just put it as one so that it is easier for me to see. The right word, you press. Press E to make it rotate. That way. Set. Left word, press E to make it look at left side. Set. Okay, downward. Okay, here we have some problems. You are going to clear all of this first. Just clear, clear, clear everything first. You should be able to automatic make all the job done. Like this, set. 
leftward, set, downward, set, upward, set. Done. Next is a jaw. Jaw already finished. Set up. All right. Next is the VSAM. Explosive. Here. Set. Upper dental. Is the dental up. Set it. Type O. Here. Set. And the puckle should be the type. Set. White. Here. Set. Africate, here, set. Lip apart is the lip open. Set, done. So, all the lips seeing the visa are already done. And then now, you can just close this. And then, what can you do? Just click export. Export it as iAvata, the non-standard character for iClone 7. Then export the geometry. The geometry file name is camilla.iAvata. And as demo, I'm going to I'm going to export it on my desktop. Click OK. And click OK. Now it is exporting as iAvata. Successfully exported, done. This is the iAvatar for iPhone 7. Okay. Next. Open the iPhone 7. This is the Revolution Hub. I, I'm going to open the iPhone 7 next year. Now, the iPhone 7 already opened. We are going to drag the camera.iAvatar into iPhone 7. Drag in, drag and drop. Now done. You can see this. This avatar already, already in iClone 7. Right. We can try to test. Create a script. Create script. TTS. Test some, some female sound. Hi, my name is Camila. I am from Cracker Creator Board. Alright, now we test this. Okay. To test the lip sync. Hi, my name is Camila. I am from Character Creator 4. Wow, perfect. So everything already done, and this time we already successfully imported the character creator for 3D avatar into iClone 7 to perform the backward compatibility pipeline. So now done. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!